Hi everybody, Joel Pitney of Launch My Book here. And uh, in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about the exciting and often challenging process of working with a copy editor. Uh, so as, as anyone who's uh, written a book or is in the process of writing a book knows, uh, copy editing is a really important part of that process. Um, this is where you're working with someone who is helping you to uh, give feedback on the structure of your story, the tone of your story, um, and also get into the nitty gritty of uh, line editing, grammar, punctuation, uh, clarity, all that good stuff. And um, whether you're self-publishing or working in traditional publishing, this part of the process is absolutely critical. Uh, I'm a writer myself and uh, I've done a lot of uh, ghost writing for traditional publishers and uh, even, even for someone like me who's been writing for years in uh, formal and professional contexts, um, my work always has to be copy edited. So um, it's, a, it's just a natural part of this journey of taking your manuscript and bringing it, bringing it uh, into its best form uh, before you start publishing it and marketing it to readers. And so um, I recently wrote an article about this, uh, talking about a few tips that I have based on my experience working with copy editors, and I wanted to share that with everyone. So the first thing that I think everyone needs to remember when you're working with a copy editor is that they are on your team. Um, this can often be uh, easy to forget because uh, when you get that first draft back from them and it's just full of red markings and maybe some comments that sound a little bit snarky uh, when, you read the, when you read them out of context, um, they are doing their job to make your manuscript the best it can be. And so even if, you know, even if some of the things that they're saying kind of get under your skin, it's important to remember that they're on your team, right? That said, I have noticed in my own work as a writer and also in working with a lot of others who um, are getting their books copy edited with my company, that there can be this interesting that dynamic emerges where uh, you give over too much of um, your voice to the copy editor, right? Especially if someone's writing their first book, they say, oh, uh, this copy editor is always right. They're the authority. They're the professional. Um, and you can get into a situation where you kind of forget your own instincts. And so um, I... I'm a huge advocate of taking as much advice as you possibly can, but at the same time, you gotta make sure you stay strong to your own voice and your own intuition about the story. After all, you're the one who wrote this, right? And you're the one who's gonna be living with this forever, right? And so for most people had a real inspiration for writing their story, and you have to make sure that that never gets lost um, uh, in any of the, within any of the copy edits that your editor is making. So um, specifically, there's kind of three points that I have. and it has to do with the different levels of your work, right? So there's the tone, um, sorry. <clears throat> level one is the grammar and the rules. That's kind of the base level. And then level two is the, uh, is the clarity of the idea. And then level th three is the tone and general structure. And, um, oh, and general argument. And so I tend to think of those as three levels of going from sort of more nitty gritty all the way up to kind of higher, um, higher sort of ideas. And as you move from level one through level three, you're going to want to trust your own instincts more. So I'll give you an example. In level one, copy editing, we're talking about the grammar, punctuation. Your copy editor, if they're good, they're going to have authority here. And so when you're working with a copy editor, you're going to accept... 90% of what they're saying there. You may want to break some of your grammar rules consciously as you review through. You're like, you know what? I know that's technically not correct, but I like the way it sounds and it sounds like me and I'm okay with that, right? But uh, for the most part, you're going to accept all that, right? And you're going to defer to their wisdom and their expertise. But as you move up into clarity, right? And so often one, things that co one thing that copy editors will say is, I don't get what you're saying here. I think you need to phrase it in a different way. It's important to get that feedback. It's important to understand, hey, is this person who's outside of me, are they understanding what I'm trying to say here? But what I've also found is that many times copy editors, they start to, as they read into your manuscript, they start to get into the weeds so much that they often will overlook um, something that's kind of obvious. And so sometimes things that they may say aren't clear might actually be clear. And so in those cases, you kind of want to go 50-50. You want to really go back over it, read it and say, okay, 
in some cases I see, yeah, that's, that's not clear. I could clarify it. But then there's going to be a lot of cases where you're going to say, you know what? I actually think that's clear. I'm going to go ahead and keep it the way it is, right? So that's level two. And then as you move to level three, which is um, the general tone or the actual ideas or story you're trying to tell, right? Oftentimes, copy editors are going to give you uh, opinions on that. We recently worked with one of our copy editors on a book where uh, the copy editor did not like the tone of the author. Um, personally, it was something that she just didn't really resonate with, nor did she really like the philosophy of the book. But, uh, and so she, there was, there were several edits where, um, where it felt like, uh, she was giving feedback in that regard. And on those points, again, it's important to respect where that copy editor is coming from and really take on their perspective because they've, they've probably worked on hundreds of books and, and this is a, this is a reader that you're testing it out on. But at the same time, you also have to remember that they're also a human being and not every single book, every idea or every style of writing is going to appeal to everyone. And so in that level three, when it comes to tone, when it comes to actually your idea, that's where you want to be strongest with your own instincts. And so again, you're always leading with giving them the benefit of the doubt about their expertise. But uh, in these cases, you really want to make sure that you agree. Um, because it's your philosophy, it's your tone, it's your voice that you're trying to bring out. So um, that's my advice. Uh, there's a lot of nuance to this, of course, and I want to make sure that even though I talked a lot about the different ways where you need to stand your ground, you know, in regards to a copy editor, I want I want to make it clear I love copy editors. I'm married to a copy editor, um, and that uh, they play an absolutely critical role in the process. And for the most part, um, you're going to be going with their suggestions, but. Never do so at the expense of your own instincts. So um, if you want to read more detail about this, I've written an article about it. We'll put a link in the comments that you can go check out. And I'd love to hear any experiences that y'all have had, uh, you know, that align with what I'm saying, that contradict what I'm saying, or that add to what I'm saying. So um, thank you very much for listening, and, I, and, and good luck on your author journey.